today's video, we're opening the brand new 2023 Mega What's up guys, we're back with another new opening, the 2023 25th anniversary quarter century. There's a lot of words here. Mega tens are finally here. I have not really looked into these much at all. I know that we get promos, 25th anniversary cards, and I've heard that some of the cards are not as good as people were hoping, but that's pretty much all I know about this. So I'm excited to get into it and hopefully get some good cards. But before we get into it, I have a giveaway. I'll be giving away every pull we get in this video. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know down below your favorite card or favorite quarter century card that we pull or could pull in this video. All right, I got a few tins here today from my local source. Let's crack them open. We'll do them one at a time because they do have promos finally. It's been years. I think 2019 was the last time we had promos. So three straight years of no promos. So this is a nice upgrade. I have been a little bit under the weather, so I'm trying to not cough right now doing my best so i might sound a little bit shaky in my voice so if that's what it is i'm not about to cry with how great these tins are uh or with how bad they are and hopefully great um it's just because of a little bit of allergies we have oh exodia the reprint right off the bat all right beautiful card but it still hurts every time thinking how hard we searched for that exodia set and now it's just a promo it's only the head though so the arms and the legs wow super value right there but I mean, it is a beautiful looking card. We got to open it up. You guys can win all of these cards. So Exodia could be yours. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. I mean, check this thing out. These look really nice. They look like starlights. <laughs> yeah, they, they look really good. Okay. They look incredible. I mean, the quality looks really good of them. Uh, of them. Really, <laughs> the quality looks really good. I don't know what I'm saying. Beautiful promo. That's why I don't really see how these tins are going to like. Some people are saying they're not great, but like if you have promos like this, they're going to do okay, right? All you really need is crazy promos. Look at these packs. I haven't seen these yet. The back of the Yu-Gi-Oh card. That might be the coolest pack I've ever seen. Obviously, the back of Yu-Gi-Oh cards is like the coolest thing ever and like super iconic. So I really like this. So far, I'm a huge fan of these tins. If we, we can get any nice secret rare pulls, that will definitely add in. There's two prismatic secrets per pack now. So let's see what we can get. So far, these tins are pretty promising. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I do like them. We have the uh, Mazen, the Orochi. We got a Runic Golden Draw. Only one super this time. That's actually nice. There's too many supers before. Uh, we have Caspatel. Is this going to be a secret? Ooh, a right card. That's a pretty nice card. And... Zombie Vampire. This is another nice one. This card's pretty solid. About seven bucks out of Battles of Chaos before, so it's probably like a one dollar card. Not insane, but those are nice cards. All right, pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I mean, I won't go too crazy on how I how I feel about the 25th anniversary promos being reprints of Starlights and stuff. You guys already know how I feel about that, but I am a fan of the promos being back. It's a huge plus to tens. It just adds a lot of value, which is really nice. Exosister Armament. You love buying something and then it like actually having value when you open it. Ice Shade. We have our Runic Destruction. Scareclaw Trier. A lot of Scareclaws. This might be the reason this isn't super valuable. And then, ooh, Spirit of Neos. This was formerly a super rare. I can't remember what set that was. So that's a nice, uh, you know, upgrade in terms of rarity. I'm sure all the hero people are happy about that. That's pretty nice. Infernal Queen Salmon. Let's go. All right, last pack of this first 10. So far, they've looked pretty good. We've got an Exodia. By the way, I just got to remind you guys, because there's always comments about this. These are pre-release prices. It is not released till Friday. Obviously, this is Wednesday, so it can't have the post-release prices yet because it hasn't happened yet. So the prices will not be accurate. They're just going to be the prices currently. They're probably going to change after this. I mean, they could stay the same, but you never know. But I just wanted to have something on the screen for you guys to have a basic idea of what it might be worth. Probably going to be a little bit less than that, though. We got an ultra. We got wandering Griffin Rider. There you go for those brave packages. Oh, the jet dragons in here! I didn't realize that. That's a really sick card. Jet dragon and a tyrant dragon, dude. Blue eyes stuff. Dude, these tins are gonna do fine. These tins are gonna do fine. They have nice promos. They have blue eyes support and higher rarity. They're gonna be completely fine. So far, I'm feeling pretty good about these. Let's go to the next 10. Uh, I mean, you got a blue, you got blue eyes tyrant, blue eyes jet dragon. Those are going to do pretty nice. I mean, these aren't going to be like, I'm not saying they're going to be the best 10s ever, but with these nice promos, having like a, you know, blue eyes support is always going to be worth something, right? It's always going to be worth something. Okay, let's see what we got next. Next promo. Oh, okay. Blackwing Armor Master. Oh, look, one that was already a starlight. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, and uh, this was... 
Wasn't this the same set as Exodia? <laughs> That's it. Battles of Legend, uh, Crystal Revenge is getting smacked right now. Beautiful looking card. That's super nice. This was already a cheap Starlight anyway, I think. So uh, this is going to really, I mean, that one's going to be real cheap now. All right, Megatons, here we go. We have the Fireburst, Billion Rose, Terrors, Breath of Resurrection, Dynamorphia, Kaguro, Mazen, Dynamorphia Frenzy. We have Dictator of D. Yeah, dude, the blue eye support's in here. Rux and Special, we have Visa Star Frost. That's a nice one. And Exo Sister Stella, not bad. All right, next pack, more blue eyes. We have Dictator of D, we got Jet Dragon. We got the uh, Tyrant Dragon, this is pretty sick. Blue eyes is doing okay out of here. We got Kuklog, is there any Dark Magician stuff? Preventing. Uh, we have the Kuyudo Spirit. Mole Cricket, that's a nice card. It was a common before. Libramancer Geek Boy. I keep Rux and Specialing, dang it. We have the Time Thief Power Reserve. That's not a new card. I don't remember that card. Hugo and the Runic Wings, I mean, nobody likes this card, but it is an upgrade from the Super, I believe it was before. And Therion King Regulus, okay, it's about time this one got a reprint out of, what was this, like Dipho Dimension Force? I think that was forever ago. I think it was Dipho. Okay, one more pack here. So far, not bad. These feel like really solid packs, like the material those packs are made out of. We have the Great Noodle Inversion, I haven't seen that in a while. Melfi Wally, Danell, Melfi Penny. Oh, I keep rocks especially. Brandon B, so there's one rare and one Super. The uh, moon, the, what is that? Moonbow? That sounds like a Moonbryon thing. Overfusion. Samoric Bird of Perfection. Never seen that one. It, oh, we got a hiccup. Runic Fountain. Okay. Runic gets reprinted here too. This, I don't know. It feels okay. Uh, Bistial Drua Swarms reprinted. What? These are some, there's some solid cards in here. I was expecting these to be so much worse based on like how people were reacting. Good thing about this is like it's a super before and it was like 10 bucks. So now it's like actually a nice rarity. So that'll definitely be some value there. People were talking about these like they suck. I know the pre-release prices are pretty bad on them right now, which is never a good sign. But it's also ha probably has to do something with rarity collection coming up in stores. You know, we've talked about this in my previous video, but they need to buy rarity collections. So they're, I mean, they might have already bought it, but they do need to recoup some costs and stuff. All right, next one we have. Okay, Firewall Dragon. Um, at least one that was not at, you know, Starlight already. So that's good to see. Firewall, it's the Arad, I assume. So I don't know if it's actually good or not at this point. Oh, I just dropped the card. Don't worry. It wasn't on a corner. Should be fine. Yeah, okay, looks good. Okay, everything looks good. Firewall Dragon. That's a pretty card. That's a pretty card in, in uh, 25th anniversary. I keep wanting to call it Starlight. Quarter century, I guess is what I should be calling it. Not going to lie. I mean, I'm pretty... I'm interested. These are pretty nice. And by the way, like whether or not you like them or not, you know, if you are going to pick them up, like I'm not necessarily saying you should go buy them. And I think they're the best product ever. But if you do, we do have a discount code with Sassy Auto. Check it out down below. Uh, we have, ooh, Rux and Special. We have number C32 Shark Drake. That's, wasn't this a ghost at one point? I think it was. Um, Maple Maiden. We have Therion Reaper. Cash Tier Unicorn. The Cash Tier is reprinted too. And Arion the Labyrinth Servant. That's not the good one. That's the bad Ari uh, Labyrinth, Labyrinth card, but it's only a one of, I think, in the decks, or even a zero. So not a crazy reprint, but I'm sure Ariana's in here as well. But yeah, if you guys are interested in this, go check out uh, Sassy Auto's link down below. Use my code, get 5% off. You guys can uh, support the channel in that way, even if you're, you know, if you're already going to pick this up anyway, you might as well check it out with Sassy Auto, support the channel. Appreciate it if you do that. I don't know. I just feel like this is a pretty solid 10 this year. I don't... I guess there's no huge chase card is really the, you know, we had Pot of uh, pot of pros Prosperity last year, which is hard to beat. We have Donner, we have Therion Duke, Ice Jade, Cosmo Clore, that's never good. Runic Lore, you never want the Ice Jade stuff. Blazing Cartesia, that was like a $20 card when it came out, so that's not bad. And Destructive, this is a good card too. This is a few dollars in Ultra in the original print, so that's a nice card. The Daruma Cannon, and then the Fur Hire. Very nice. They all feel like solid cards. I mean, I guess that's usually the case with Megatens. I mean, that's why they're so such good products is you buy these for a cheap, you know, price point, like 20 bucks, and you can get some really good reprints. Cucumber Horse, the speed run. Oh, we, did, we definitely didn't speed run it there. We have Lady Rose Diamond. We have Bonded. We have the uh, Bufalucula. We have the, uh, that thing. We have Dynamorphia Diplos. Ice Shade again, Cosmoclore. Runic Destruction. I don't remember them using this one, but they probably do. Floating the Reason, the Advent Adventure, another good card, and Bestial Magma Hut. Dude, there's just good cards in here. It's all about expectation, really, right? Like, I was expecting them to suck, and they feel, they feel better to me than I was expecting. Here's our final 10, guys. You guys can win all these cards. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. 
you know, like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below what your favorite card is, all that stuff, what your favorite Starlight, how you feel about the tens, all that good stuff. Okay, we got a we got another one. That's an unfortunate. A repeat. Repeat reprints is what we got. Feeling a little sniffly today. All right, we have a 25th anniversary. Three more packs. And also, I want to announce that we'll be doing a couple more Mega 10 openings. And then on Saturday, we will be opening 100 Mega 10. So if you're excited about opening 100 Mega 10s, trying to get all those 25th anniversary cards, it'll be live here on YouTube. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. It's going to be fun. 100 Mega 10s. It's going to be a big opening. I'm excited. This Saturday, probably around noon, something like that. We have a Silent Wolf. You know, there is football going on now, so we got to do it early. We have Rika Princess. Ultimate Fusion, more blue eyes. Cash Shear Unicorn, another one of those. That's really good. And Tri Brigade Showdown. I don't know how good that one is. Tri Brigade, not as good anymore as it used to be, so not a great one there. We have two more packs. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed this opening so far. If you have, we've got a couple more coming up. And I'm also going to be doing a little variant. Tomorrow, we're opening a case of Mega Tens. Uh and uh, check, make sure to check that one out. Sassy Auto is sponsoring us for a case opening tomorrow, which is pretty exciting. Branded Beast. We have Freck of the Runic Fangs. And then Saturday, we have Groza. Let's do this real quick. Warchief. The, okay, this one's not awesome. The Zelantis and Exo Sister Martha. Okay, I think we're just, that's not a bad pull either. So very solid stuff. And then Friday, we're probably gonna be doing a fun throwback with some older tins as well. So make sure to check that one out Friday. It's gonna be fun. Last pack magic for this video, guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget to check out the uh, affiliate link for a little discount if you guys want to pick up some of this yourself. Last opening, Brandon Loss. We have Dinomorphia Diplos. We have Scatter Fusion with a gem on it. Blackwing Zonda the Dusk. Runic Fountain, that's a good one. And our final secret rare. Amazonist Pet Liger King. All right, not a crazy, but Runic Fountain's pretty good. Not a bad way to end it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you guys have enjoyed it. And we have more videos coming this week. Shout out to Tonefo Show, Daxter, Tomato Juice, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, America Doyster, Supreme Sage 21, CJ, and then a Tai Show, Ian Moosey Jr. Barding, Robert F., and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.